What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is actually being recorded the exact same day as the last one. I just changed my clothes. So let's go ahead and pull out the engine that we picked up from Barn Built and show you what we got. Okay guys, this is basically everything we got back from Barn Built. This is all of our old parts. So this is obviously our old timing belt, um, oil baffle, oil pickup, pistons, rods, all that good stuff, uh, if I remember. So I do know one piston went bad. Let me just find it real quick. Ah, uh, right here. This is the piston that went bad. This is uh, cylinder four. You can see it cracked right there. So I just caught it. If I didn't stop driving the car, it would have gotten worse. Uh, but this is the cause of our uh, low compression. And because I stopped, it actually saved me a lot of money. It saves me an oil pump that I would have had to replace. Uh, they went through and they said it was okay. It saved me the crankshaft. I'm um, still spent a lot, but it saved me those. Uh, I'm planning on keeping these parts and making something out of them. I think it'd be cool if we make something out of like the rods or the pistons or something. And it's just neat to, you know, hold <laughs> your old engine parts. I could have gotten a Type RA 2019 short block and throw it in, but honestly, I think this still would have been the issue. Uh, from my understanding, I think it's the sidewalls that really got beefed up. It is not necessarily the ring lands that got fixed. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I think that's all they really did. Now. I, I could have gone to RA block, but you know, this probably would have happened again, and I just didn't want to have to worry about that. So instead, we dropped it off the barn built, got everything replaced. All this is all new. I'm excited about it. Now let me just go through what they did here. But basically, I dropped off the lawn block. They went in. They, You could tell they cleaned the short block. It looks like brand new. Um, I didn't get any head work done, so they left those. That's why they're not all cleaned up. Otherwise, they would have been looking the exact same and brand new. Uh, as you can see, they stamped it. It's a barn built short block stage three, number 31. So that means that is the 31th engine they have completely done in-house. They've done many more engines before this, but recently they started doing all their machining in-house. And because of that, this is the 31st engine. Now, let me go on with what's inside the engine. So they broke down and assembled the lawn block with timing. Uh, wash and deck cylinder heads. They cleaned and inspected the oil pump. Uh, again, mine was salvageable because I stopped driving the car immediately. Uh, flywheel got resurfaced. As you can see right here, it's the OEM flywheel. Looks brand new. Now, this is the Barn Built Stage 3 short block. So, it uses my original crank and case. We went with JEFSR 2618 99.75 mil pistons, Manly H Tough rods, ACL race bearings, main and rods. Uh, OEM hardware and seals. So all of that got replaced. We got JE Pro seal head gaskets, APR 2000 head studs, 11 mil, uh, all OE uh, gaskets, so rings. Pretty much all gaskets we also got from them. So any gaskets that needed to get replaced went through them. We got it all from them. Everything is here. Everything to finish up the build is here. So I'm excited about that. We also got the break-in oil, uh, coolant, everything we need. Uh, as you can see in here as well, we got oil filters. We also got, again, this is all of our gaskets in there. Uh, this is just your cover on the bottom of the transmission I gotta throw on. That's the studs, uh, flywheel, old parts. She's good to go. The engine is capable of making 500 wheel as we stand right now. Are we gonna make that? No, we are not gonna make that. The reason is because we're using our original turbo right there. If we were to upgrade the turbo, I would upgrade the up pipe and the headers. But right now, I just don't have the funds to do that. So, that being said, this is the engine. This is what we're looking at. I'm thinking we go ahead and throw that clutch on. Let me get the, everything situated. Let's get that clutch on and get this thing ready to go back in. So guys, it's actually the next morning. I went to go ahead and put on the clutch and I realized I forgot my torque wrench. So I'm borrowing it from a buddy. Something I got to do quickly is I just got to remove these, put them back where they're supposed to be. And I have this plate right here that I have to put back on. It just goes on the bottom right there. Flywheel, it's the OEM one. I went ahead and got barn built just to resurface it. And this is our clutch. It's the uh, ACT uh, heavy duty street series clutch. 
What can I say? It's really nice. I'm excited to use it. I can't wait to feel it. Uh, I've had ACT clutches in the past. Worked phenomenally. Didn't have any issues. So I'm going to go ahead, throw these parts on, and then we will get to these. I guess cue the music. Well, it started to rain, so I, I just covered that up, just so water doesn't get into the hydraulic cylinder. Uh, put some plastic on there just to kind of help protect the engine. I, you know, it should be okay, I'm not too worried about it, but you know, I, I moved the engine in, so it's not gonna get too wet now. Uh, I went ahead and I cleaned the, uh, the clutch fork, cleaned it all up. Uh, I cleaned inside of there as much as I can as well. Let's go ahead, get the throat bearing installed and all this. Uh, make sure you grease everything up. I guess just watch what I do in the video just so you guys get an idea of kind of what to do i'm using supplied grease and it should be a breeze i've seen people install the throat bearing on the, the pressure plate i don't really understand why i feel like it'd be difficult to line everything up when putting it in so i'm going to do it with the clutch fork i feel like that would just be easier i did the same thing on my impreza yeah that's just what i'm going to do so it worked for me in the past can i do it again so only use a little bit of this stuff when applying it to any surfaces that have metal metal contact you can use too much and if you do you're gonna get lubricant spun around in your transmission can cause slippage, it's not great. So again, only use enough, just enough, not too much. like a little stud or something that the, the pin has to slide into. So to make sure it went in, I screwed in a little bolt. You can get that from the intake manifold. Just goes into the side of the pin right there. That one. So then I moved it around, made sure it was right in, in the right place. And now everything is lubed up, moves freely, as you can see. I also went ahead and put some of the extra lube just on that pin right there. Leaving it like that, when I'm ready to install it, I'll make sure everything is nice and lubed up so we get no squeaking. Now let's get to this bad boy.
guys go. That's it all installed. Again, I didn't have a torque wrench that went that low, so I just kind of made everything hand tight and all felt the same. Now, is it the correct way to do it? Of course not, but I'm not too worried about it. I did it in the past, didn't have an issue with it. If you don't like my method, that's not a problem. <laughs> do it your way. Um, I'm just working with what I got. The only other thing I did off camera was I went ahead and threw the plug in, which is down right there. Uh, that's just a 14 mil hex socket, I believe. Or you could use what I use, and I had a 14 mil uh, Allen key. So I got that in. Um, we're not putting the engine in right now. I gotta do a couple more things to it before I go ahead and throw it in. But if you're at this point, like with your engine build, you can go ahead and you can remove this plug. That's for your cylinder for cooling mod. And you could plug off this area and this area to do a secondary air pump delete, which I'm gonna be going over with in the next video. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, it's coming up soon. As you can see, it's getting cold. So it did rain a bit, so it's a little chilly, <laughs> hence the hood. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Lots of more cool stuff coming up in the future. Um, I got some custom things coming on the way. I think it's going to be kind of cool to watch. So if you're interested, take along. Take it easy, guys.